We are at YCS Hartford, the most boring city in the planet, and we're going to make it exciting and electric, baby. Want to know why? Because the YCS champion is here. Let's go. YCS Hartford happening tomorrow. I am uploading this video before Hartford because I want all my pendulum brothers in arms to know how to combo properly for Hartford. In today's video, I'll be showcasing you guys my full pendulum combo. And if you're my YCS opponent watching this, like 30 seconds in the washroom before my round, trying to figure out what I'm going to do, you, all hope is already lost. You've already lost the duel. You've already lost the duel. Don't, don't even bother. Like, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Anyways, guys, I love you. This is for you. I know it might be stupid to showcase my combo the day before my tournament, but I don't care. I want you guys to be prepared because my opponent's getting clapped up anyways. So before we get into this video, I want to give a massive, massive shout out to all of you that have purchased the Beyond the Pendulum playmat yesterday. It is sold out. 100 playmats sold out in one day. Uh, absolutely uh, incredible. To everyone who has purchased an LS playmat before, all LS playmats have been sent out. And Beyond the Pendulum playmats will be sent out as well in one week. And it is, I'm so excited to do it. And you're also thinking, you watch, Chef, you know, you're such a nice guy, Chef. You know, you're going to show us your pendulum combo with the day before YCS. You know, you gave beautiful on the pendulum playmats to all your homies. But what about our homies that didn't watch your video yesterday? Huh? What about us? I'm sorry. But there's another 24 hours of Beyond the Pendulum Playmat. So if you missed on your Beyond the Pendulum Playmat, you have 24 more hours to go. Because I have for the boys, baby. Uh, uh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, get your playmats right now. Tripgaming.com down in the description. Now, once you guys get that, let's begin the video. It is time for Pendulum time. It is time to showcase why Pendulum is the best deck and how to combo with Beyond Pendulum right here, right now. Let's go. Now that I assume every single person watching this video has already purchased the Beyond the Pendulum playmat on www.tripgaming.com, I've already assumed you guys have already done it. And you know what you do when you assume. You make an ass out of everyone else that does not buy a Beyond the Pendulum playmat. Well, once that's all done and you guys have subscribed, let us begin. I'm going to show you guys right now. This combo is done like a multitude of billion different ways. This is the hand I'll be showcasing you guys with. You could do it with literally any hand. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, like it doesn't matter. Even opening Pengraph, this, this combo allows for one card to be like not useful to do the full combo. The full combo could actually just be done with one harmonizing. It's actually a two card, three card combo. But the showcasing the full power of pendulums uh, here is what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to off the bat just go Prosperity. We kind of looked at the deck. We're going to Vanish 3. I just made a video on Prosperity, why you should play it. Uh, I already have access to both my scales. I have access to Harmo. I have access to Extender. And Beyond the Pendulum gets any of those. So I have everything I need. So I'm just going to literally just search for anything. I, like, I'm literally just going to Vanish 3 just to have some Pendulum in my hand. I'm going to be Vanishing Dark and Zeus. And at this point, if it's game one, you don't really know what you're playing. Uh, it's debatable to your point. Uh, you could banish whatever on God's green earth you, you feel like. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Axis Code Talker because I want, uh, this hand's broken. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to set up a Savage Dragon as well. So tip, Or I could get rid of Savage there. Uh, I'm going to see these three. All right. They're all very nice. I mean, it just doesn't matter. You could get Curtain Razor. Yeah, this plays around Nibiru as well, but I'm not going to play around Nibiru because I don't believe in Nibiru. I believe Nibiru does not exist. I believe Nibiru is a is false. It is a uh, not real. It is a fugazi, fugazi. It's not real. So we're going to go here is... Let's go with Old Dragon. I would go Curtain Razor to actually play around Nibiru here, but I want to show you guys just the typical combo. Uh, trust me, guys, don't play around Nibiru. It is just mathematically insanely incorrect. Uh, this format, no one plays it. Uh, game two and three play around it. In a future video, I'll show you guys how to play around it. So we're gonna normal summon the Joker here, and Joker's gonna search just the one card we're missing in our hand that is Harmonizing Magician. Okay, so this is what we have in our hand. This is the basic Beyond the Pendulum combo. Then we're gonna go into uh, Oath and Wisdom. We're gonna put Double Iris into the scale. This is the basic unbreakable combo. You can do a billion ways. You know this hand is too broken. You can do it with half of this hand. Uh, so here we're going to special chronograph. If you want to play it around Nibiru, you special harmonizing, and then you save it to eventually make Needle Park, so you're not Belosa. But I do not fear that card. That card, I can't stress enough, is literally just not a real card. Uh, so I'm going to link these two into Beyond the Pendulum. I'm going to trigger Beyond the Pendulum. Sometimes your hand's not going to be this broken, and you're not going to have like every single card in the game. So I'm going to use Beyond the Pendulum to search harmonizing. I already have harmonizing. So the next card to add in this scenario will be Celestial Magician. Next, we're going to Pendulum Summon. Make sure to summon out the Chronograph Sorcerer. Make sure to summon out the Wisdom Mind. Then we're going to summon these two out. 
uh, in this scenario, I mean, I guess if you want, you could be on the pendulum, but there's just no reason to. But going second, of course, you would do it. Harmonizing effect, do not bring an oaf, bring a white wing magician because you have cornering our sorcerer. So this is the scenario that we are, are at right now. I'll make this a little cleaner for you guys. So we have a uh, white wing magician, we have harmonizing, we have wisdom, we have celestial, we have chronograph, and beyond the pendulum. And the only time here where you would go oaf dragon instead of the white wing would be when you do not have the chronograph sorcerer. Okay, you guys got that part right there. So next part, as you guess, we're going to make Baron de Floor with the Chronograph Sorcerer and the White Wing Magician. Banishing the White Wing, making a Baron de Floor. You're going to put the Baron de Floor in defense because we're not losing to a random lightning storm, okay? Then we're going to go Celestial Magician Effect. A trick here. Do not be like, by the way, you cannot use Monster Packs for us this turn. Don't tell him that. You're not obliged to tell him that. You're just obliged to say, I activate the effect of Celestial Magician. Do you have a response? And then most of the time, they're going to be like, no, because Yu-Gi-Oh players just do not read. And for those who don't know what it does, is when you control a Synchro monster as well as a Pendulum monster, you could Skarm add a monster at the end phase. Because you control a Synchro, you as a thought your opponent for the rest of this turn, so they cannot stop any of your plays moving forward. So you're play playing very freely. The next part of your combo, you're going to keep the Harmonizing Magician. Uh, oh, there's just so many ways to do this combo, I don't even know where to start. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Uh, always check if you have a spell in your grave. We started off with prosperity, so we know you have one spell in the graveyard. What we're going to do at this point, actually, is we're going to link the wisdom line and the beyond the pendulum. I'm going to teach you guys some crazy pendulum tricks right now. I'm going to artifact Dagda. We're going to trigger Oaf Dragon to add the wisdom line. We did not trigger Oaf yet. Triggering the effect of the artifact Dagda to set one artifact scythe. All right, our good buddy artifact scythe. And then at this point, we are going to uh, put these two into Time Star Magician. Time Star Magician is actually the star of the show, post-DPE. We're going to uh, detach Harmonizing Magician. Harmonizing Magician, and this will get us Astrograph Sorcerer. Our good homie, since time, I love Astrograph Sorcerer. And then at this point, you're going to think, how on earth are you popping your Astrograph Sorcerer, Triff? Well, we're actually going to use Baron the Floor to pop the Double Iris Magician. Triggering, not just the Double Iris, but also the Astrograph. We're going to, but we're, we're not going to use the Astrograph just yet. I'll explain why later. We're going to trigger the effect of double, a double iris to search for trap pendulum graph. Do not need, don't get spell pen graph because it'll literally just take up space and you don't want that. All right, next, so you're going to activate the effect of wisdom mine. And that's how you're going to summon an acid graph to be able to search for another wisdom mine. Now, here's where it gets absolutely genius. We're going to use the effect of wisdom mine, but we're going to protect with time star magician. So time star magician protects any pendulum from being destroyed once. Protecting wisdom mine from its own effect, sending tuning magician to the graveyard. That's how you get access to your tuner. And then at this point, you're going to then use Wisdom Mind Magician's effect to bring out anything you like. You could bring out a Double Iris or Black Fang. I like Black Fang in this scenario because going second, you can kill them a lot easier now. Triggering the effect of Astrograph Sorcerer, Special Summoning Astrograph Sorcerer, and searching yourself a very nice follow-up of Wisdom Mind Magician. At this point, you have Wisdom Mind, Double Iris, and Trap Pengraph in hand. And now what we're going to do is we're going to trigger the effect of Tuning Magician in the Graveyard. Special Summoning Tuning Magician. You're going to lose 400. Your opponent will gain 400. You're going to take Dagda and the needle and the uh, Tuning Magician to make Needle Fiber. You make Needle Fiber at the very top. You're going to trigger the effect of Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber will not special out a second Tuning Magician from your Graveyard. At this point, you're going to think to yourself, wait a second, 7 plus 1. This reminds me of one of my favorite Dragon Monsters, Boral Load Savage Dragon. So now we're going to synchro those into Boral Load Savage Dragon. I'm still going to put this in defense because I'm still not losing to a random lightning storm. Don't care. And we're going to put the artifact data there. We're now going to set the time pen graph, okay? And then you're going to proceed to the end phase where Celestial Magician will trigger. You're going to search yourself a Joker for follow-up. And now you're going to have a Joker Double Iris Wisdom in my hand. Absolutely absurd follow-up. You're going to have full scales. And you're going to play around every single card in the game, okay? So you have Droplets and Scythe, all right? Oh, sorry, sorry. Pen graph and Scythe. So now your opponent, you know, what what, the, what are they going to do? Are they going to drop it? Well, you know, they're going to go main phase one, and they're going to activate some card, right? And then you're going to be like, hey, Needle Fiber. And then you're going to be like, okay, Needle Fiber is all right. And then you're going to go teach you one magician effect, pop, and they're going to go, ah, Forbidden Chalice. They're like, Forbidden Chalice. Okay, well, I'm going to negate the Forbidden Chalice with Burl's Lord Savage Dragon. And then they're going to be like, drop it, so I got you, ass trip. I'm going to send my whole hand right now and negate all these three. Ha, ha, ha. Little do they know, once they, so they send, they negated all of these, right? But you just activated Time Pendulum Graph to pop their card and your card. And then the effect of Time Pendulum Graph, because Time Star will protect, will then send a card on the field, sending the TG Wonder Magician, still triggering the Scythe. Your opponent currently has one card in hand because of Droplets, two cards in hand, still can't play regardless, and you still set up the Scythe, and you kill them through Droplets Chalice, which is like literally the, the worst words a Pendulum Bluist wants to hear. 
there's no answer to this. There's no answer whatsoever. It's literally just handshake, and your opponent loses. So this is the new Beyond the Pendulum combo, where you end on Needle Fiber, Scythe, Savage, Bearing the Floor, and a Double Pot Pen Graph, with an absolutely absurd follow-up. This is the new combo. Do not play around Nibiru Game 1. Game 2, the combo is a little bit different to play around the potential Nibiru, and it all depends on what you're playing and if you expect them to potentially have a Nibiru. So this is a new combo. Make sure to do this so you guys could win your, your Hartford or win your regionals or whatever. I've already won YCS Hartford with this combo, and I've eaten every single deep barrier my opponent tried to use, and I've obliterated every anti-spell, and I've obliterated my opponents. 2-0, I sent them packing all the way back to Asgard, and we're never going to lose again with this deck. All right, I love you guys. This is the new combo. Uh, day two of day two of 100 Days of Pendulums. I'm, you know, uh, I'm very, I was very busy today. I thought, oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm not going to have time to do this. But for you guys, I'll always have time. I told you guys 100 Days of Pendulums, and it'll be every single day forever until that time. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to get your beautiful Beyond the Pendulum playlist. Always applies last. Smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I love you.